For the first time ever, ESPN welcomes you to Peden Stadium in Athens, Ohio, as the Bobcats take on the Pittsburgh Panthers, both schools looking for their first win in 2005. Brooks Rossman to kick off for Ohio. Brandon Mason along with Barad Stevens Holland back to receive for Pittsburgh. And we are underway. The Solich era begins at Peden Stadium with a penalty flag. And it'll be Stevens Howling at the 15. The receiver at the 25. One man to beat the kicker. Stevens Howling far side 40. And he's going to take it all the way. Again, a penalty flag down, but it's a touchdown for Pittsburgh in the opening kickoff. Louisiana to come stay for free. That they would pay the scholarship money. As the pass is picked off by Dion Byron. Can he keep his feet? He does. Touchdown, Ohio. They're down to the 19-yard line of Ohio, but a third and long. Palco. And in trouble again. And Palco gets out of there. Throws to the end zone. Picked off. Todd Koenig, the safety intercepts. Palco is second pick tonight. And a second down and five coming up for the Ohio offense. Owens. First down at the 32-yard line dragged to the floor by J.J. Horn. Third down and three. And they run it. Owens has the first down. And he's still going. Keeps the feet moving into Pittsburgh territory. Phillips stood him up. Trying to make it two straight third down conversions. The crack has it and powers into the secondary, lowering the shoulder and just blowing into Tez Morris. Now the Irish beat Michigan last year, and they've won three of the last five in that series. Third and two, McCray. Trying to force his way past the marker, going to be close at the 26. Mike Phillips on the tackle. Rox Rossman, who was only 50% on field goals last year. First attempt tonight, 21 yards. And Ohio takes a three-point lead. Just over five minutes to play. They've got Murphy and Jennings in the backfield. Palco and Lee, their top two offensive players, have struggled tonight. It's the freshman. Jennings going to be close. He was hit by the safety, Koenig. And they're going to mark him short of the first down. Ohio will take over. This to give Ohio a six-point lead. It's good. No good. He missed it. Palco to throw. Stands in there, and the pass is bobbled and pulled in. Caught by Lee. Gave about four or five of the play, and no huddle here by Pittsburgh. Yeah, they're starting to move Lee around. They moved him into the slot to get him away from the double coverage outside. Seven-step drop again for Palco. Dumps it off over the middle again to Murphy. First down, that'll stop the clock for the moment at the 32 to move to... Sports Center coming up next on ESPN2 that who knows we could have overtime here in Athens. Palco, a little, little jump toss hits Murphy across the middle for about six to the 37. Muncie on the tackle. Clock running, 141 and counting. One timeout remaining still for the Panthers. Ohio is playing with five defensive backs on the field now to give them better coverage. They rush four. Palco, plenty of time. Again, dumps it off to Murphy. First down to the 45. They'll stop the clock to move the sticks. Don't forget they've got a first-team Biggies kicker. Josh Cummings kicked the 49-yarder last week. That was his career long. They run Kirkley off the left side, and he is motoring into the Ohio side of the field of the 48-yard line. That's about a six-yard gain. Clock running, though. Ohio has been soft defensively on this series. They're going to have to turn up the heat and get back to the way they were playing other earlier. Well, good a throw. Gets rid of it over the middle and broken up by Muncie incomplete. Four down territory right here. They rush six. Palco gets rid of it and what a catch on the sideline by Lee for a first down to keep the drive moving. For a touchdown. Under 50 seconds left, Pelko on first down again across the middle, and it's caught by Bucus to the 25. And that'll stop the clock to move the chains. Pittsburgh still has a timeout left. They have plenty of time, and they still have a timeout. Pelko again to throw. 
Dumps it off again, that middle wide open, and Kirkley's inside the 20. It would be about a 34-yard field goal. And Pittsburgh still has a timeout. Now they elect to use it, so they're out of them. And Cummings ties the game at 10 with only seven seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. It results in a field goal. And they're not going to take Trevor Maddich's advice. They're going to take a knee, and that will uh, end regulation play. And we will go to overtime. Third down and four. Quick drop, Palco. And it's intercepted! Once again, Dion Byram, who picked off a pass and ran it back for a score earlier. And he's going to win the game for Ohio! Touchdown, Bobcats! 